There we go. We are recording. If you want to see your morning. Oh. Yeah, this this last three months has been has not been a fun experience. He said, Amy said there possibly maybe a slip piper or something that's a uh, uh, belly or something. It's three inch, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is. No, no, it's almost everything's three inch now, and that's where I see most of the problems. Sitting. Yeah. Quite sludgy. Best shoe covers we ever found. Yeah. Washable. They actually have rubber grip. We have no problem wearing them, but half the time we get to places, they want us to wear their shoe covers. And if you've ever walked in them throwaway ones, they're very slippery. Right down on your backside. Yeah. And they don't fit. You know, anything above 12 inch. I mean, I even said that every time you uh, take a crap, you know, make sure you put extra water down the toilet. Remember, if you have a back of your vendor, do you remember? Have a what? A back of your vendor? Uh, uh, I'm running out of push. within the next couple of feet. No, no go? Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Okay. I'm busy. Never stops. Makes it even worse. We got a van at the body shop for the last now three and a half weeks now. Whatever was up there just started sludging through. It just started dumping. But tell me it's sludging through up there. In fact, it was that full and then drained. How many, yep, people's, that's a lot. how many people's drains back up in their basement? A lot? <laughs> yes. A lot more than you think, huh? Yes. Yeah, that's a 333. Three, three. So you can see. Did it drop or was it fully belly? It dropped. Okay. There's something sludging through way up there. 
it's not drained very fast. There's just very little pitch on it. It's always coming out of that floor drain in there. I think it should be empty yeah. at 45 feet. At least about two minutes of power to part three. Longer. That's where we're losing all the push three bends or something. Yeah. Right there. But then this is. Just to tell the restriction or the mm -hmm. right there by how far. Guess in the floor drain. Because I know I even brought the 204 down here and made sure this pipe was spick and span. <laughs> well, I mean, the whole, the whole pipe was oh, no. just chunky. Those borderings get pretty gooped up too? They can, especially if they're back pitched and the stuff goes up there. I, mean, I don't know why there's so many turns in this. Okay. All I know is I don't want this problem again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, we got tongs, other caps. Three yeah. caps. It's caps not my net. At least if I only drop the tool part, I can pick up the name and get that. Well, you can get the cap back with the grabbers. Yeah. Looks like a pain. It is. I take it the guy that was here last time with you isn't working with you anymore? Oh, it's my son. Oh. Yeah, no, he's in school. He's been trying to play around. Trying to play He's not 18 yet, though. He can't play around after he's 18. <laughs> yeah. He wants to do animation. Oh, whatever, kid. That's fine. This is probably a good field to get into. It is. He wants to go to California and do animation. It's okay. Yeah. Not going to help you with the basket weaving degree. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, what are you going to make? Top, top, let's see you're in the top 2%. What are you going to make? Okay, where are you going to live? California. Oh. Okay. So you're making 100 grand. Fine. Okay, half of that's your rent. Yeah. You're going to want a vehicle? Well, yeah, I want a truck like yours, but I don't want a Toyota. I want a Chevy. I said, okay, there's another. Fifteen hundred dollars a month. You got roommates, and you're eating scraps. Yep. Pretty much. I can take that as well. And then we're going to the front. Take your pick.
in the rough and stop preventing all this stuff? Is that that end up anyone? Not really. We've maybe seen half a dozen in 30 years of residential more or and it won't make it back up. It'll make it drain very funny. Well, so basically, if you don't find anything here. Well, we've already found a few bellies, but nothing that has changed since the house was built. Yeah. I guess why all of a sudden, 10 years that we had this problem two times in six months. You buy a new washer in the last couple of years or something. Washer, we'll dryer. Gets their body loader, training. Front loader, people move out. New toilets. People move in. <laughs> people visit for holidays and never used to visit. <laughs> All it takes is one little change and uh, suddenly something happens. A lot of times it's not something people expect, like updating a toilet. Yeah. They don't realize they go from an older two gallon flush to a 1.28 or something. Yeah, well, they, well, it makes all a the difference. Same. We see it enough when people go from top loaders to front loaders. Yeah. Also, we yeah. went from dumping 30 gallons twice in a half hour or something to. Paper. The fact that it's still that intact after falling 10 plus feet. Yeah. There's no down here on this line. Yeah, going to the front orders, all of a sudden you're only dumping like five gallons. I figured there's got to be a reason why it keeps doing it. I mean, I don't know. But <laughs> well, you see, nothing's really changed. I mean, belly's in that back line, but. Yeah. Shouldn't be enough to. And that's actually up in here, past the floor drain coming in. Brand new toilet paper, or they choose to manufacture it differently, or manufacture it third party instead of themselves. Yeah. All that can change something very quickly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you won't even know what happened. What's like the best toilet paper to use? Can't even tell you anymore. <laughs> That's it used, yeah. to be, be, yeah. 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 used to be, you'd be able to tell by brand, but now it's, they have the same name on it, but now eight months from now it's a different company actually making it. Yeah. How many paper places that used to make stuff around here closed and now it's manufactured in some other place. So you never know anymore for sure who's making it or if it's the same product even with the same name. Yeah, and then you go over there and there. I'm guessing it's all... Uh, You know if we put a different valve in your toilet back here last time? Are they all man sealed here? All the same yeah. toilets? Okay. See the valve in there, they're not changed already. That takes them from a 1.6 to a two and a half gallon flush. That eliminates the need to do that. Yeah, it's, uh, essentially, acts like you hold the handle down by dumping the rest of the tank for you. I had surgery a week ago, so oh. I'm unlimited. Garbage disposal. It's greasy. Yeah. That's why I hate garbage disposals. At first, I thought it was just the shower type of stuff. We get that 
I open it up, the pipe will actually smell kind of good, as weird as it sounds. Oh. It's all that scented shampoo and body wash stuff. Yep. It tends to build up in the pipe a little bit like a coating, but it's not enough to really harm anything. Yeah. But you can still smell like all the fancy smells they make that stuff with and half the time you open the pipe, yeah. like, hey, that kind of smells good. People look at you awfully funny. Uh, I know that one time uh, garbage disposal got flogged and it took me all day to unclog it with a snake. I didn't have a long snake and yeah, never the most. I always said if that ever goes on, I'm not putting it back in. The newer ones, the snakes, not the disposal, but the newer technology of snakes with the high speed flexes have made it a whole different thing for getting that stuff open because what used to take an hour or two, a lot of times you do in five, ten minutes. Oh. They just spin at 2000 RPM instead of 200. And they chew everything up and emulsify it so much faster, liquefy everything. Yeah. Makes it so much easier sometimes. So is there a way to clean that or not work? Yeah, one of the flexes could shoot through there and clean that off. If there's no toilet on the line, it's not a huge concern, but it's still not going to hurt to get rid of it so it yeah. doesn't get to the point where it becomes a concern. So eventually it'll build up enough. This one's got fair amount of sink residue. Yes. I don't know what's all coming down this. Garage way. floor drain and sink. That's garage floor drain and garbage kitchen, kitchen sink. It's going to look great. Here's the first 10 feet. Kind of stuff in the way of it so you can't see it, but kind of sluggy but not the worst. Gets a little worse right by the stack, but nothing major. But it looks like that. It's a good channel. Being a three inch is going to drain plenty for a long time, but I did uh, put it in the flush valve in this toilet, so it dumps the whole tank every time. Well, sometimes that's all it takes. We have lots of jobs where we get to where they have changed toilets from a two and a half, three gallon flush to a 0 0.8, 1 1.2, 1 1.6. And the pipes got valleys or rust and it just isn't enough. Yeah. And we absolutely love those two button toilets because they keep us very busy. Oh yeah. Yes, they do. I suppose like a, a toilet upstairs, it's all drained and down, so it's less likely to clog, clog up. upstairs, but not under the floor. Yeah. And I got the front one open already. Yeah. It's all under the floor. It's got to run more than a couple of feet. Yeah. Yeah. Especially from that back stack. That's got 50, 60 feet to get up here. Uh, 48. You know, a lot of bends. 48, I think. I wasn't all the way to the front yet. No. I was close. I was a few feet. I don't think I was quite good. Yes, thank you. I'll drop it into the floor. Oh, really we can't put this one down there, but I can put a different camera down there. Can we run up and look at the toilet real quick? That last push I was, that was that 3-3-4 three, 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 three. or whatever like connection dropping into 4. Okay. So I was making it to where it meets all these stacks, but not quite to the front. <laughs> it was that hard to push. outside home set the counter Thank you. 